guys welcome back just uh out in the woods per usual and uh maybe i'll be doing some urbex soon i don't know but uh out in the woods again going to like one of my favorite spots that i like to go to and i uh, just wanted to try some different things with the uh, tarp that doesn't involve having a ridge line you're wondering why I got my hood on and all that. It's just uh, the weather has just turned. It's it's been so like hot and soggy and humid this whole entire summer, and we're just getting into fall. And uh, I think today it's like only like 60 degrees right now. So that's why I got a sweatshirt on. And you may have noticed, yeah, it's one of my own YouTube shirts that I like to wear every once in a while and i know someone recently well not too recently but someone recently uh asked if i sell this sweatshirt and i, I took it as a compliment you know that's nice but uh i'm not gonna sell merch all right i don't sell merch i just made a couple of things so i could rep my channel you know what i mean <laughs> You know, we all want to rep our channel, but uh, so I'm wearing this just to basically rep my channel. I'm not going to sell anything. Uh, I put this this way. <laughs> not going to sell anything. You know, who do I think I am? You know, to sell my name on something. I don't know. I just find it odd. I'm just a regular person out here doing this just like you can. Doesn't take any kind of special skills. Anybody can get out here and day camp or camp or do urbex or crafts or whatever it is you do on the internet that you want people to watch anybody can do it so I definitely appreciate you coming along and checking out these adventures and uh, i'll just see you when i get up to my spot my spot almost there it's not like i have like this huge epic walk to walk i'm not gonna pretend that i'm out here walking 20 miles or anything i only have uh probably less than a mile to walk through these woods but it's but it is awesome all right Up around the bend it's kind of gray out today Ugh. Alright, just coming up onto the top of the hill or this little ridge area that I like to come to. Did the backpack review here, did some of that flashlight review here, did a couple of shelter setups here, so that's where we are. Looks like somebody's come through here with like a, a dirt bike or something. Do a little bit of a dirt bike trail. So that to me looks like a little bit of a dirt bike trail. Prop oh, a tree came down. Look at this. This must have just come down within like the past couple of days. So yeah, that pretty much uprooted itself and it's now across this path. Alright. Well, won't be uh, tying anything to that tree. Well, we've had just like a ton of water lately, just like soak in the ground. The rain has nowhere else to go. Poor trees. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pack off. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, I'm going to get into showing you a couple of things I've been playing around with as far as like setting up a shelter uh, without a ridge line. Say you don't have, you know, a paracord or anywhere or any trees to string down or string across a ridge line or set up a shelter. These are just, I guess, good to know. And um, like I said, I really don't know the, the names of any of these types of shelters. I just see what I see in my head and then try and implement them out in the woods. So let's do that.
I'm just trying to get like some of these sticks out of the way that might be sharp because I'm going to be putting my tarp on the ground and it's the only one I have so I treat it like a baby. It's my baby. So that's what I'm doing. Eventually I'll get another tarp but this is what I use for now. You all know the free soaps tarp, blah blah blah. I'm going to lay it down. All right. Okay, I treated myself to a new chair, so that's what this is. Instead of that little thing I just fold out and put down, that's actually kind of heavy, believe it or not. I, um, uh, these are just the feet for it, if I uh, don't want to sink. But um, yeah, I picked up one of these Nature Hike chairs. Not too pricey, you can find it on Amazon. But this is what appealed to me, so this is what I got. So, and I'm going to tell you now, getting this little canvas cover on top of these, on top of this uh, little frame right here. Look at this thing, it's like, and all of a sudden you have a chair. <laughs> these things crack me up, I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> all right, so as you can see, that's how it goes together. Boom, boom, and boom. All right, so there's that. And I'm gonna have to worry about sinking in. And these are just the little round things that go on the bottom of the feet so you don't sink into like soft surfaces. All right, so to keep this out of the way. What the? All right, we'll just attach it there so I know where it is, and then we'll throw this on. This is not the easiest thing to get on, I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> that looks easy so far. Once it, you use it after a while, it'll probably loosen up a little bit, or maybe it won't, I don't know. Holy shit, you gotta be really strong. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's fight with it. Let's fight with it. Let's fight it. I happen to love this chair, so once it's set up, it only takes like three hours to get set up, so it's, it's perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do this. Alright, we're doing it. <laughs> Holy shit. This whole video will be about how to get the fucking canvas onto the frame of the chair. Okay. <laughs> it will loosen up after a while. It's worth it, I think. These things are so comfortable. And we'll be sitting in, like I said, about two to three hours. We'll be relaxing. Oh my god. Okay. Alrighty. One, two, and let's see if we can get this one in now. I'm not going to make you watch this, alright? We'll come back in like a couple hours and this should be done. Alright, honestly, that didn't take too long. Pretty much after I, that little split edit that, uh, that I literally got it on. The, I think the trick is when you're putting these things into the corner pockets, you got to pull the corner pocket out, just kind of press down a little bit and then slide it over. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But all right, let's check this out. So this is the nature hike chair. It's pretty lightweight. I think it weighs like just a little over a pound and a half, if that. So yeah, look at that. Now that's comfortable. It has a little bit of a back. I'm not just sitting on that little fold-out thing, although I did appreciate at least having that because having somewhere to sit, I think, is a great, uh, a great thing. Like, 
who wants to sit on the ground. I don't mind sitting on the ground, don't get me wrong, you know, but uh, this is way better. I love it. It's pretty sturdy. I think it, uh, I think the max that it'll hold is like anywhere from like 250 to 300 pounds. You know, if you're bigger than that, then there's other chairs that you could probably get that would uh, fit your body, but this one happens to fit mine, so this is what I'm using, and I, lo I love it. I absolutely love it. Slowly, you know, I'm starting to pick up different gear, and, um, and that's the beauty of it. You don't have to have, I'm, I'm babbling right now, huh? But I was gonna say, you don't have to have expensive gear to get out there and have a good time. If you wanna do camping or if you wanna do camp day camping or hiking, then go out there and do it. You know, Don't spend uh, all your money on these big brands because what if you don't like it? You know what I mean? Like there's a chance you don't like it, then you have all this crazy equipment you know, sitting around that you're never gonna use and you, know, you have to give it away or sell it. Give it to me, I'll take it. But um, yeah, so we're out here and let's get into these top configurations, but of course, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee first. Or actually, you know what? No, I think I'm gonna make hot chocolate. I think I'm gonna do a hot chocolate instead. So let's do that. Still haven't set any tarps up yet. <laughs> Just basically dilly dallying, walking around, checking things out. It's looking a little. It's looking a little gray and foggy. It's a little bit of windy. It's a whole mood out here. I like it. Um, I, I don't think we're expecting any rain, so this isn't gonna turn into one of those I had to take shelter in the rain videos or anything like that. This is just. We're out here, it's a gray day, and uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. My chair, backpack, all that stuff over there. This little stump is like the table I use uh, when I come out here. And honestly, I hide it, or I just like stick, I don't really hide it. I just basically put it on its side, like that. And I just stick it over there in that brush pile over there. And every time I come out here, I grab it and I use it for a table. So if you see a log that I use for a table, you know I'm out here because that's that's what I'm using. So let's make a cup of hot chocolate. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, the sun's coming out. It kind of looks like the sun's coming out a little bit. Well, that's nice. Oh, it looks like there's a tree going to come down over there, too. So I'm going to have to be careful.
All right, Swiss Miss. Swiss Miss. We're doing this instead of a coffee. Oh my God. <laughs> my food bag. I got a lot of crap in here. Alright. From the time I get this ready, this thing is going to be boiling already. It's almost boiling already. I don't even know how that happens. It's just like powerful. What am I doing? I just, I thought I heard something, or I thought I heard someone, that's all. I'm extremely aware of my surroundings sometimes. The slightest little noise, I'm like. All right, that's almost boiling, so. Wow, that took no time at all, look at that. All right, whoa. to the touch nice all right have to pour some in here save that hot water or rinse my spoon This is actually my first hot chocolate of the season, so to speak. Yeah, I know. Huge milestone, guys. Huge, right? But no, this is like, uh, yeah, my first uh, hot chocolate. And I'm kind of excited about it. Because as we know, everything tastes better out in the woods. Whether it's coffee, food, anything. So, there you go. First hot chocolate. Cheers, guys. Wow, that's hot. What, what did I expect, though, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's hot. Alright, so I'm going to kick back and enjoy this hot chocolate. And um, then in this area right here, I'm going to lay out the tarp and show you a couple of different configurations that you can that you can do without having a ridge line. If you don't have a ridge line and you need a shelter, I mean, you, you probably don't even need tent stake. You can literally take some wood and just, you know, take a knife and make it down to a point. Use those for stakes too. You, you don't have stakes, so well, you can do that too. <laughs> but I'll see you back in a minute. Shop, so. All right, so I've just taken the car laid it out on the ground flat and I folded it over so that's where we are right now and I'm gonna make a shelter an emergency shelter I think so I'll show you what I'm gonna do I don't even know what I'm doing all right let me get a piece of wood To where I'm going with this. I'm going to bring you back when I have this set up and then I'll walk you through it. All right, so 
there. You can probably see that a little bit better. So this is uh, the stage of where I'm at right now. This is what the tarp looks like from the back. There you go. That's what it looks like from the back, kind of like a triangle. Just to give myself more room inside this tent structure, just put a loop through uh, one of the grommets and put a uh, piece of wood there to pull that out. And I just have it staked down into the ground. Staked down right there, guide out onto a stick. Just kind of at the top, wrapped it around. And this is what the inside looks like. So there is room in here and I'll set it up to make it look like we're gonna stay in here, even though I'm not gonna stay here overnight, but here is a shelter. So let me do that and I'll bring it back. some ground cover in there and if I was to stay in here I'd have my sleep pad in there and everything else. So I don't know what the name of the shelter is but this is something that I thought of. Part of the uh, top acts as like a ground cover and I could tighten this up a little bit better and make it more secure but I just wanted to go through and uh, show you uh, couple of different tarp configurations that uh, I've been seeing in my head that I've kind of wanted to try. And if I wanted to close these doors all the way, if I wanted to close these little flaps all the way, then I would bring this down just a little bit and instead of having it tied on that first one, I would bring it back so I would have more room to shut these. And then I would be able to shut these, you know, if the weather is inclement or inclement in climate in climate if the weather's not good then you'll be able to shut these but i think this is pretty cool there's enough room in here not too bad so this is uh one of the first shelter setups that i want to show you <laughs> so what do you think would you stay in that <laughs> if i had to in case of an emergency i would but i mean I don't really see myself having to be in a situation where I need to set up an emergency shelter unless I was like, you know, hiking or up on a mountain somewhere and I didn't have a tent or anything like that, then I would try to use one of these configurations um, to keep myself out of the elements. So let's see what else we can come up with. All right, I got the second shelter up. This looks a little crazy, but honestly, it's, uh, it's a lot of room in there and yeah so there's the second shelter and i'll take you around for that all right so what i did here is i put the tarp on like a diamond shape and i folded in the corners and just kind of guide out the the front of that on the well this would be the center so if it was raining I would just flip that down so water could water could beat off of there. But I have that up right now. And have it staked right there, right there. I have just a little rope and a wood toggle pulling out the back a little bit just to give me a little more room. I could have tied that to the tree and just lift it completely up if need be. But I think that's just good enough for now. Staked out right there. And the edges are folded under, so the tarp actually becomes part of your ground sheet. I really don't like laying down on my tarp. I don't want to put any holes in it, but in case of an emergency, it is what it is. And uh, let's go in here. So obviously, if weather isn't an issue, then this would be good enough to be, to have your shelter. And if you wanted to bring it down and close it off, then uh, you could just use smaller sticks, put one stick and then close the side so you have doors. So, but I mean, right now you probably wouldn't need it. 
you know, if you had um, the, the right gear, a sleeping pad, um, your sleeping bag, and, and all that, I think this would be just fine. Kind of like a little bit of a lean-to, lean but it's uh, kind of like a tent. I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of room in here. It's pretty cool. I like it. Let's see what else we can come up with. Thank you for humoring me, guys. Like I said, I don't know the names of any of these uh, tarp setups, and I don't even know if there's a name for this. Um, I just see something in my head, and then I try to, like, you know, put it into um, put it into fruition out in the woods. Like, I, I picture these things, and it's like, you know, tarp origami. I'm like, all right, let me just do this, and then I can shove this under here, put a stick there. So that's what I'm doing. So that's what we're up to. <laughs> not too bad I prefer a ridge line but I mean if this is all you had then this is all you had and when all else fails this is your third one there you go you're covered I'm obviously kidding all right I'm kidding and that's the third one just a typical lean-to or a style or whatever you want to call this i don't even know but uh it's just kind of uh leaning out this way as you can see so you could take shelter in there i have a guide out in a couple of places right there right there obviously the bottom half let me change this the bottom half is folded under so you do have a little bit of a ground sheet I have this toggled. The flaps of the front are just kind of folded over the back of this. So if I need to close this up, I'll drop these down and I'll show you that in a second. And then all of a sudden I have doors I can close. But uh, so there's that. Again, just loosely staked out. I'm using these cheap pegs. They're not even in the ground all the way, as you can see. I just have it loosely pegged so you can actually just see what I'm doing here. Here's another one. All right. If I was going to stay in this, I would obviously push them down into the ground and I would use a different stake. Um, maybe more on the lines of something like this. So I would probably use something like that. But anyways, I'm going to put a ground cover in there and get that all set up and just show you what it looks like as a shelter. get the idea okay. so you get the idea you put this down as a, you have a ground a ground cover you already have a ground cover with half of the tarp you can put your stuff in here in the corner and you now have a shelter so if you had like you know your sleep mat and um, your sleeping bag, say, in your backpack with you, and you're hiking, and the weather goes crazy, and you need an emergency shelter. You don't want to set up a ridge line. You can't set up a ridge line for whatever reason. Maybe there's not enough trees. I don't know. And if you don't have or can't find a stick in the woods, which you're pretty much everywhere, but if you can't find a stick, use a trekking pole. So you already have your stick with you. Use your trekking pole, and then you won't even need this. And uh, a couple, keep a couple of pieces of paracord and a couple of stakes in your backpack because you just never know. You just never know. And uh, but I love this. This one's is probably my favorite. I mean, as in you know, an emergency shelter. And if the weather gets crazy, <laughs> bye. <laughs> and I'll seal this up. You know, seal this up and protect myself a little bit from the elements if need be. But this is awesome. <laughs> I love this one. Like I said, if you know the name of this, let me know. Because, you know, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered knowing the names. You know? Like I said, I imagine these things and um, just try to put them to use and see what uh, what I can do. But that's, I mean, anybody can do this stuff. Anybody at all. And you, like I say, you don't have to get all kinds of crazy experiences. 
expensive gear. You can find secondhand gear if that's the case. You can uh, go on eBay to find some stuff. You can obviously go on Amazon. Amazon has a bunch of products by all different kinds of people, all different brands, ranging from hardly nothing to, oh my God, are you kidding me? So, I mean, there's a price range for everybody. So, I don't know. <laughs> you know, this has been fun. Oh, look, my flaps fell down. But, um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you have any suggestions? What do you think yours are? What do you like? Do you do this? If you do, uh, let me know what your favorites are. And if you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. And if you have made it this far in the video, leave a, a comment down below that just says doggy, doggy, doggy. So just once, if you made it this far in the, in the video, just comment doggy. And if not, then I guess it doesn't matter and I can just keep on blabbing away to empty space. No matter. All right, well, I've just packed it up. As you can see, I've cleaned up my area. The leave no trace is in effect. <laughs> and uh, my little table, I just put off where I've originally found it, off into the woods, so I can use it for next time. We're gonna make our way out <laughs> so yeah this has been fun like i said i just realized like the first shelter i made kind of looks almost like the third one i made but the third one was a good one i like the third one so the second one i don't even know what that was i was trying something and in my mind it looked great and then well you saw it <laughs> when i tried to use it it just i don't know it's just but that's the beauty of this, you know, you can do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. And with practice, you get a little bit better. So, but I'm all about this. I absolutely love this. You know, talk about going right from Urbex to like I'm a camper now. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I've always loved the outdoors. I love Urbex too. But right now, this is all I can concentrate on. I'm a gear junkie. So I'm always looking for uh, good quality at low money. And um, yeah, so what we're doing, I got um, planning um, a backpacking adventure soon. I'm gonna go climb this mountain. I've climbed this mountain before in winter and I didn't have the right gear, it was crazy. It was honestly, it was kind of stupid that I actually did that in the ice. I ended up, I didn't have crampons for your, you know, for the ice on your shoes or anything like that. I didn't have those. I didn't have trekking poles. Just had a basic backpack, had nothing with me. I mean, <laughs> and I climbed that mountain and ended up having to come down sliding on my butt. It was extremely dangerous and it was kind of dumb. So, but I'm going to do that again, <laughs> this time the right way. So that'll be upcoming. And, um... Yeah, so we'll be getting into doing that. I'm kind of looking for a nice, looking forward to a nice hike up in the mountains. Can't wait to do that. And I appreciate you coming along on these. Oh, the sun's coming out. Nice. But um, I appreciate you coming along on these adventures. And if you like, if you like what you see, I'm always trying to change it up here on the channel. Something might appeal to you. So if you want, you know, give a give a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to uh see what's going on over here <laughs> and um if you want to get notified of any uh adventures of mine hit the bell notification and all that youtube -y stuff you know do all that you know i guess and i do appreciate you coming along and uh i'll see you on the next time i'll see you on the next time oh yeah and i do have um a gear giveaway coming up and so we'll be doing that i got some great products i want to pass along to you but i'm just babbling away so i'm just going to end the video here guys i'll see you on the next one bye guess who's walking right back up into the woods i forgot my car keys believe it or not they're laying on the ground what a moron. Oh my God. <laughs> wow.
can't get out of here without my keys. Yep. So I'm um, walking back up this hill again and hopefully I find my keys. Let this uh, be a lesson to you. Learn from my mistakes. You got keys. Make sure you put them away somewhere safe so you just know exactly where they are. You don't get caught up doing your video, your filming, whatever you're doing. And then you leave and you're like, hey, left my key. Oh, there they are. Just sitting right there. Yeah. And there they are sitting by the tree. So let's do this again. <laughs> what an idiot. I can't believe I did that. Okay. I could have edited that out and nobody would have known, you know, <laughs> but you know, it's real life. Sometimes you forget things and I guess I got too wrapped up in my top configurations and uh, filming. So, but yeah, always be aware of, you know, your keys. And on that note, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.